terms of dignity and respect for the middle class, the working people of this country. Whether you have a job, whether you can afford your health care, whether you can fill your gas tank, whether you can eat your home, whether you can send your kid to college, and whether you can look your child in the eye and with certainty and say, I promise you, honey, everything is going to be all right. And the saying goes like this, a promise made is a promise kept. Your word is your word. And ladies and gentlemen, we will keep our promise to the middle class. We will keep our promise to end this war. And we will keep our promise. Keep our promise to do the thing that is most needed, to fundamentally change America. That's what we will do. We will told all of us, literally, not figuratively. It may sound corny to some of you, because you've not been able to hear it if you're younger. But my generation and the generation after me were raised in those neighborhoods where our moms and dads looked at us and said literally these words, money, if you work hard, if you're honest, if you trust your government, if you believe in your country, there's not a single thing you can't do. Not one thing. Ladies and gentlemen, the fundamental reason why Barack Obama and I are running for President and Vice President of the United States of America is we believe we can do that again. And I believe with Barack's leadership will be able to do just that, to rekindle that legitimate notion that we can do anything if we work hard enough at it. If we're decent, if we're honest, if we play by the rules. We've not been playing by the rules lately, folks. They've not been playing by the rules. It's not been a level playing field. And ladies and gentlemen, an awful lot of people have been knocked down. My dad used to have an expression, and uh, everybody kids me about it because I've talked about it so much during my life. My dad used to say, champ, you get knocked down, get up. Just get up. So ladies and gentlemen, I've never seen so many Americans knocked down since I've been in the Senate, since age 29, with so little to do to help them get up. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Together, we get up. America